Hey, something a little different this time. Only a little though, because we're back at Laguna Seca, the old corkscrew. But uh, this time we're in a uh, Skip Barber, the, uh, what is it, Skip Barber Formula 2000, I think is the, the full name. Uh, or the number seven. And uh, got people from all over in here, so that's fun. Um, I'm not very familiar with this car. It's kind of like, uh, well, if um, <laughs> if the uh, Formula V is like the baby Formula One car, I guess this is like the preteen Formula One car. <laughs> it's uh, not quite as snappy. You're not gonna spin out quite as uh, easily. It likes to stick on the track, but uh, it's got some some characteristics that remind me of it. You can go plenty faster in this car, though. So, um, I don't think I'm going to be all that fast because I'm still learning this thing. I've only dri driven, driven it, a, you know, a couple times. Oops. So I think I'm going to go ahead and do my uh, Q lap here. Probably qualify near the back, and uh, we'll just have some fun with it. I just really like this track, you know, so. And wanted to give it a try. Wanted to do a race today. And uh, this was the thing coming up soonest for me, so. Yeah, we'll see what happens. If it goes poorly, then oh well. Hopefully I uh, just don't cause any messes. If I do wreck, <laughs> hopefully I can keep it out of the, the way of other people. I'm having trouble uh, shifting in this thing because it shifts at such a low RPM. It wants to shift kind of like at 6500 or so, it looks like. And uh, it's a pretty quiet engine compared to other ones on here, so I uh, had to bump the volume up a little bit. It's still a little hard to hear for me, so I might have to adjust that even a little bit more. Uh, first lap here. We'll see how it goes. Another thing I did was uh, bump up my brake bias just a tiny bit. I felt like it was really trying to uh, spin on entry whenever I was hitting the brake. So I went ahead and just moved it forward just a tiny bit. It's probably just um, not very good. Probably a little bit faster to have that where it was by default, but uh, I'd rather not spin out. <laughs> so this is already going more poorly than some of my qualifying, or not qualifying, uh, practice laps. About uh, six tenths off of my best time there, so. Inconsistent, not quite fast. The car really wants to spin out on you into the corkscrew. Seem to do all right there, though. Oof! Almost hit that uh, the red little Jolly Rancher. <laughs> Overdrove that, I think. There's a lot of speed to be gotten out of this thing, that's for sure. Especially out of me. <laughs> so. We'll see where that drops to. It's probably. I don't know why I shifted there. That's probably one of the slowest laps put in so far, if I had to guess. And we got one guy behind us. At least. for some freebies that I can maybe snag from guys going off, but uh, I don't know, this thing seems pretty easy to drive, so I'm not sure how many of those we'll see. Of course, once guys start driving uh, side by side, you never know what's going to happen. That's the thing. With this thing, it doesn't quite snap like a Formula V will. Did I cut? Oh, I cut. 
this lap's not gonna count. Dang it. I didn't cut enough for it to uh, say, oh, you're exceeding track limits, but I did enough to get that off track, so that'll be a little bit of a safety rating in, uh, hit. Very tiny because it's qualifying, but it will invalidate the lap, unfortunately. Let's see what we would have gotten. Wasn't that great of a lap anyway. Let's see, that was A, one, three, eight, eight, three, nine. That would have put us in seventh. And we're eighth. Oh, and we're ninth. Yeah, so we wouldn't have been too much better. It was just slightly better. And we're pretty near the back anyway. So. I'm, I'm okay with that. I'm okay starting near the back. I'm gonna try to stay out of the way for the most part. I'm sure there are plenty of guys in here that are much more familiar with the uh, Skip Barber. The Skippy, they call him. Man, you can really just fling it around some of these corners, it feels like. I'm used to the uh, Formula V. Where it'll just spin if you try doing that, so I'm probably gonna be underdriving a lot because I'm used to that. It took me a minute to get comfortable with the way it looks too. I was really uh, changing my field of view. And uh, drive height, driver height and all that stuff. So I kind of spent a good five, 10 minutes of my practice time just getting it to feel comfortable visually. Kinda settled here, it seems fine. Let's see. Putting my best uh, sectors together. It says my optimal is at a uh, 138 flat. And if I were to put it together a perfect lap by my standards. One three eight flat wouldn't even be top seven, so <laughs> yeah, we're gonna be pretty slow. But I don't uh, expect to come in here in a car I'm unfamiliar with and blow the doors off people. Gotta have some perspective. You know, I'm sure there are guys that race this every week. They're familiar with everything this car likes to do. So it wouldn't make sense for me to come in here and just own the place. <laughs> so. Realistic expectations. Um, oh yeah, and it's it is open setup, so um, I just got a, a free setup, Majors Garage. It's uh, I mean, there's not. It didn't look like there's really much to change anyway. So like, it's just got like little baby changes, like uh, so whatever the roll bar or whatever it's called. And uh, of course, I made that change to the brake bias just for my own preference and uh, it's got the fuel in the right spot 15 laps so that's all good news looks like we have a fast repair I didn't even know that so we got a fast repair if we end up upside down in a ditch got my Keebler elf car good old cookies <laughs> let's not dunk them in the sand Maybe we'll have a good run. I imagine, like any road series, at any point, at any, <laughs> in any length of time in history, it's all going to be pretty chaotic in the first bit. So we'll leave plenty of room around us. I think you just want to flat foot it for the start. I don't think you're going to have to deal with any wheel spin. But I might just find out in a second here the hard way. But it looked like whenever I was uh, practicing that a little bit, I'll usually practice standing start um, and practice by uh, launching out of my pit stall. <laughs> it uh, it seemed fine. It seemed just fine. So, 15 laps, the same as the Arca race, I believe. We also had 15 laps there. Let's get it going. Okay, we got a guy with a bad start here, so now we're all going to be clogged up. 
I hope people behind us are patient. What is wrong with this guy? Why are they off pace already? Well, they really made that harder for us. I think we lost some spots because of that. I don't know what they were doing. They were in like second gear or something on the start. Got someone to our outside giving us a headache. I am not experienced enough in this car to be doing this side by side stuff. He's got the spot now so we can breathe a little bit. There's a spinner. I'm not sure what the draft looks like in this thing, but seems like we got a little bit there. They got loose, so we will be making a pass. I really hope that they don't try to take it back here on the corkscrew. Oh, we got guys going every which way. Some guys going pretty slow here. The guy about to hit us from behind. I had to go in deep to avoid him. Plus he blinked out and scared the crap out of me. So he can have it if he wants. If he wants to blink out. We might have been saved by that blink out there because he was close enough he might have actually hit us. So I just had to overdrive it. I'm glad I saw him back there. I think we'll be by him for too long. Feeling pretty good. I think we got top 10 speed. Ooh, that didn't want to turn though. Got a nice gap behind us. spun it. That was weird. That didn't really happen during practice. I'm hoping this guy's going to back out because he is the one that made a mistake to end up in that position. Kind of did. We made it work. Anytime you're kind of headed for a uh, too wide into the corkscrew, you got to be sweating. <laughs> so... I somehow managed to spin out in a, a car that's very hard to spin out in. Seems like. But uh, we're okay. Apparently draft is a is a thing because those guys are really desperate to, uh, or that guy's really desperate to grab it from him. Man, I love this track. Oof. Except for that turn. That turn can that can go away. But <laughs> the rest of the track, you're my friend. <laughs> okay, got through there pretty good. blinking some more now causing fear for the guy that's next to him I suppose they're gonna go through real slow gonna have to leave him lots of room shallow there so I gotta make sure I can make that turn all right maybe we can put some space
Now we're going to find out how strong that draft really is. See if the, the guy behind us is going to catch right up to us. Yeah, he gained about a tank. Certainly not insignificant, that's for sure. Oh man, he's taking that much better than me. I'm under driving, as predicted. Well, if he gets a nose on me, he can have it. Just don't run into the back of me. position where I need to be fighting people. I'm still just trying to learn this car. I'm not going to take someone out in the process of it. I think he's uh, faster and just had a mistake, so I'm going to let him go ahead. Maybe I can learn something. Faster. I'm glad I let him go. Instead of getting run over. Got lots of space behind. Oh. <laughs> Had to take that a little bit harder. Since uh, you sent me the game with a ton of time on me before. Might have been a tiny bit better. push it through a little harder there. I'm kind of fully lifting off of the gas pedal and I think maybe a partial throttle will help me keep my momentum a little better. Kind of found ourselves a little pocket here. Yeah, this partial throttle thing through the corner seems to be giving us a little bit more momentum. something every lap here. Love it. Messed up the angle on that one a little bit, but I think that's fine. I know I can take that harder, but uh, don't want to overdrive it either and end up in that sand, the sandy business. Of course, the uh, lap time should be getting better as we go along anyway. The tires are uh, finding their nice warm spot and uh, the fuel gets burned off. I think most of the fuel is going to be the biggest deal here and helping us go faster as time goes on. Okay, use the whole track. Good. Yeah, that was much better there. Okay. Man, that's such a good feeling seeing that green. Money. Get that green. <laughs> find themselves uh, fighting. Maybe we can catch up a little bit, but I think that number five, he's got nothing to worry about from me. They're going to be side by side. I think I'm 
miss a shift there. <laughs> better. I can see the progress. Looks like I might want to keep it in third a little longer there around that corner. I think maybe that would help me. Got that close, but it was pretty fast. Hmm. Seems like once this fuel burns off and it gets a little lighter, it seems like you can get through there a lot better. That's much better. Now yeah, we're about to shave a second off our best time. Don't overdrive that. Launch it into this final corner. Get the drive off. Maybe if I don't miss my shift this time, we get eight tenths. No. <laughs> Apparently, I didn't miss my shift all that bad last time. 137.6. Hey, hey, that's pretty good. Still here in the uh, tenth five. spot. A little wide, but we're good. We're still getting further ahead of us in front and uh, further away in the back. <laughs> so we've, we've carved ourselves our spot here. Apparently, I should have been ranked number ten in this race. Maybe uh, inexperience with a car earns you about a, a three-place penalty from where you're actually supposed to finish. <laughs> or there's still people yet to uh, get into their, their wrecks. Ooh, messed that up pretty good. Could be that I'm not even getting any better, it's just the fuel really makes that much of a difference. Is that guy sliding into the corner? Is that what happened there? Caught him a little bit. Pressure on him, maybe he makes another mistake. Yeah, you got the angle right there. Getting faster every lap, I love it. catch him. Nah, I think he's, uh, <laughs> he just pulled five tenths on us out of nowhere. Apparently, I think I, uh, 
I guess I'm taking that final corner too soft or something. Seems like I can really roll these corners a little bit better too. I think I'm on the brakes too long. really turning much better now though this corkscrew dangerous every time even if you think you've got it figured out it's so easy to go catastrophically wrong any lap mm, over over that thought I could get away with just lifting but I think I still need a tap of the brakes still be breaking a little too hard. Fun race so far. All right. Tried to roll that one a little bit more. Felt kind of dangerous, but we're a little bit faster. I really think that this fuel is making a huge difference though. I don't know if it's necessarily me getting faster. We're just gaining on the straightaways like crazy it feels like. He's pulling away pretty good now so. Let's focus on what we're doing here. Shave another second off this lap time almost. Get that dirt off the visor. interesting how much you have to change up how you drive as this thing goes on. The car just feels so much different now than it did at the start. I think a small part of it's just me uh, learning it a little bit better. But uh, an even larger part is just uh, the car has really changed with the uh, environment. It's crazy to me that uh, all these laps I'm doing like full seconds faster. That's kind of crazy. It's hard to fathom. Like, you did that second a whole second faster than you did last time. And that last time was a second faster than the time before. I don't know if I've been in a car that's uh, been able to shave that much time that off with uh, each pass.
kind of entered a little wider there. It seemed to help out, maybe. <laughs> I guess that's kind of the other thing. A little, little bit of a problem. I don't know if the way I'm driving is changing it as much as the car has changed. It's hard to know if I'm making any good adjustments in terms of uh, driving style. feel like if uh, if directly after this race you put me back in the car the way it was at the start I would just immediately overdrive the first corner just because I've slowly gotten used to how it feels now uh oh <laughs> there's one one X Overdrove it just a tiny bit, wasn't that much of a harm. Two laps left. Two to go. One gallon remaining. We'll kind of uh, just maintain that gap in front of us. He's gotten away a little bit, but. Uh, uh oh, don't do it again. No, oh, why am I giving myself all these X's at the end for no reason? But uh, wow, we really, uh, we really uh, distance ourselves from the guy, be the guy's behind. Full 15 seconds? That's pretty wild. We really just kind of found our spot here. Seems like there's a big uh, skill gap in here that's pretty cool because I don't know if the setups matter all that much like I said there didn't really seem like there were too many parameters to change even seems like uh, a driver can make a real big difference which is pretty cool you like that in racing you know you want the most skilled drivers to uh, find their way to the front and I think uh, up front is where you would find the most skilled drivers in this lobby. So that's cool. I like that. Excluding, of course, if guys get taken out. That's not really their fault. But you know what I'm saying. One more lap. Maybe we can find ourselves some more X's for no reason. Oof. Get the bump a little bit. Wonder if we'll get uh, any guys running into each other up front. Send it through there. <laughs> That's a fun corner. That's a really fun corner. And it goes off into a really, another really fun corner. Although a very dangerous one. Very happy with the way I hit that. Good drive, Chief Juan. Whew. And for good measure, a full second and a quarter almost off my best lap. That's pretty cool. All right. Where do we end up in the final? Our final best lap there, 137.1. Nice. That's pretty cool. That's fun. Top 10. That's about what I could hope for. We'll just make sure we're well out of the way in case guys are still running around. 
glue right here. All right. Good stuff. Um, take a look at the far chase as we go and take a look see and the incidents here a moment. Yep, just kind of right in the middle. Started 11th, got 10th, so at least I moved forward. Uh, seven cars are technically supposed to go a little higher, but that's not considering the fact that I don't know this car, so get a little bit of a penalty there. Two incidents right near the bottom, it looks like. Out of most guys. Can I sort it by incidents? Yeah, so I was uh, fourth in terms of incidents. <laughs> so I kept it on the track. Maybe that's why I'm slow. <laughs> the guys at the front are probably slinging it all over. I don't know, the winner, the leader got two just like I did. So. Yeah, look at that. Their qualifying time is just. You know what? With how much of the fuel affected how fast it was. I bet if I were to take the fuel out, I could have had a much better qualifying lap. Because I didn't take the fuel out. So, maybe this is one of those cars you just you just have to do that. Anyway, incidents. 37 flat was actually my fastest. Just like, here on lap one. Ooh, this on exit and just gets a little bit of tap. Help send him around. Entering the kink before the corkscrew, but it looks like that was just a kink blink. This probably isn't going to go well. Oops. Yeah, he's trying to get rid of as much room as he could, and he just got those right sides off, off the track a little bit uh, under braking, I think. Although the car does get really light under braking right there. That's why I, was, that's why I sent that uh, brake bias forward a little bit because that's what I was feeling in practice um, especially like at that corkscrew when you start getting on the brakes oh <laughs> especially when you get on the brakes it starts going around that guy had a sympathy spin or I mean he was trying to get out of his way so he's spinning in front of him but just a little bit of an off track there that's uh, the guys near the front Oof, don't want to hit the Jolly Rancher. He's nice and considerate as he goes back on track. It's good to see. Well, that seemed fine to me. Unless I missed something. I was kind of blinking. <laughs> now I'm blinking in real life. I have bad connection. A little bit of curb. Seemed fine to me. Seems like sometimes we're getting a, a view of the corkscrew, probably because it's just so hard on the car just driving it normally. That's not how to drive that one, though. Oh, and then he overdrives the final corner real bad. Oh, no. He's on a journey. Oh, and he just stops it. That's interesting. I don't know if he just gave up or something. That's just some blinking. This is just going to be some blinking, probably, because I can't see him. Yep, I can't see him. I'm having a mistake on the straightaway. Oh, stop it. Nothing. Entering the corkscrew. No. Surely this is something, right? Yep, that's a punting. Don't think it was intentional. I think he just, uh, the guy behind... Broke too late. I'm assuming this guy's blinking. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have. I shouldn't have made that assumption. What happened? Is that the after? This is at the end of the race. The guy in front of him just slams on the brakes, and this guy doesn't see it. That's uh. I mean, this not the pace car. This guy just parks it in the middle of the road. And I know the race is over, but you can't just stop in the middle. I kind of don't blame that guy for not expecting it. Probably still got the incident points out of it, too, because there's still people finishing. That's kind of a dumb way to get incidents, but... Hey, considering how bad we uh, were on pace qualifying-wise, and in a car I don't know too well, I'm pretty happy with the top ten. Ten out of uh, 18 guys. About halfway up there. 
and uh, I didn't wreck myself or anybody else. So, yeah, thumbs up. Had fun with it. And I got to race Laguna Seca, so it's a good day. <laughs> and uh, I hope you have a good day as well. Thanks for watching.